Here is my completed Famba. Well, this is the uh, the prototype version. I was gonna show it to you guys and get some feedback and see if there's anything that I. What's up, Lego builders? Welcome back to Coconut Brick Studios for another great episode of Building Naboo. In today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at my giant Famba beast. I have finally finished it. This has been months of dreading it, months of preparation, design, and it's finally built. So I'm really excited to show it to you guys and hear what you guys think so that I can maybe improve it if needs be. And not only that, I do have a couple packages in as well. So we got some great things today. Let's go take a look. Just had an absolutely brilliant idea. I am so excited about this. So the last giant hurdle I've been dreading for this whole Naboo mock is building this giant Famba. I mean, as anybody who's built with Legos will know, building a custom animal slash beast is no laughing matter. I mean, you got to do proportional legs, proportional head, let alone like the facial features. So I've been dreading this for a while. I had no idea how I was going to build it. And then today I happen to be walking out of my studio. I've been just picking my brain for weeks now figuring out how to build it and I was walking out and I happened to look at this ATTE I had had it out uh, I was using it for some pictures and I just looked at the legs and a thought occurred to me maybe I could use these legs for my famba so I took off the legs and I had already fashioned this little frame I tried to build a frame that looked rush roughly kind of like what a famba would and so I started messing around with the leg and lo and behold with a little bit of modification they actually do look kind of like the famba's legs how awesome is that so what I mean by kind of they kind of look like the famba's legs is you can see right here this front one is it's very long and very straight just like the middle leg of the ATTE walker whereas this back one kind of jogs up right here then comes down and is straight at the bottom, which kind of reminds me of this. This So this is the back leg, although it's slightly modified. So this part right here is the back or front leg of the ATTE. And then I added this kind of uh, Technic piece. I don't know what the right name is, but I think if, you, if I connect it at the right angle like that, it kind of resembles the leg of the Famba. And so that just clips on the back right here and Voila, we've got the workings of a fan, but obviously this is a very rough skeleton right now, but I'm just so excited to finally have a rough idea of what this fan is gonna look like. Progress on the giant Famba is well underway, and this is what I have so far, guys. This is the great Famba beast. <laughs> um, I don't know, I, I, I think I did okay with the parts I have. Um, this mock has really cleaned me out, guys, as you can see. A lot of these bins are empty or almost empty. I've got just empty bins everywhere because this has taken up so many pieces. Then of course I've got mo other mocks and vehicles. I've got the catapults built. So maybe I shouldn't have waited for the last second to build this Fambo, but oh well, here we are now. Um, one thing you may, may be wondering is why is it all gray? This is obviously not a robot, but a living thing. And that's just because I'm really out of <laughs> all the other pieces and um, the gray pieces are the most accessible piece I had in the form of like slopes and curves. And I didn't want this to be a really blocky, ugly looking beast. So that's why it's gray. Just pretend that it's a different color, but we do have a nice brown saddle sitting on the back of it. Let's start with the smaller of the two packages. I'm not entirely sure what's in these. You know, when you're working on a big project and you're always got brick link hauls coming in, it's kind of hard to remember which package is which but i think i'm pretty sure this one's got some minifigures in it ah yes indeed so we've got i think this is the rest of the gungans that i need or maybe like half of them i don't remember um just your typical regular gungan warrior i don't know you guys have seen tons of these tons of those by this point and then i got some of these light gray turntable bases these are for my aats so nothing too fancy there and then we've got a couple spears and then some some of these black claws these are actually not for naboo and neither are these 
Those are for a secret project that will be coming up later. Now for this big boy. Um, this is only, if I'm, if my memory serves me correctly, this is only two different kinds of part in here. There's just a absolute ton of each part. So we've got a ton of these trans blue uh, cones, cylinders. Yeah, cylinders. Uh, I think this is 1200. And I already have, I think, almost a thousand, like, like 800. So I've got an absolute ton of these now. Hopefully I'll be able to find more uses for them once this mock's done. And then you know what it is, more grass pieces. I believe this is about a thousand. I'm hoping this is the last batch that I need to buy. In fact, I'm thinking about just using what I have and then trying to make it work. So that's it for this mini haul. Here it is, guys, the completed FAMBA. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. This is kind of a prototype slash final round. Uh, I wanted to submit it to you guys for any final criti critiques. If there's anything you would like to see changed um, or anything that you think would be improved on this beast, make sure to let me know down in the comments. Probably my favorite part of the FAMBA and the part I think turned out the best was this rear area. I just think the sloping from the underbelly all the way up to the tail looks pretty nicely especially if you look at it from a distance if you really start to dig in and look at the weird angles and edges it does look kind of strange especially if you really look closely at this tail but i think it turned out okay and i used plates for the tail instead of like an actual molded lego tail piece is because i felt like because all of this was built out of like lit different kinds of lego bricks and there wasn't really any molded parts on it i felt like it would look weird for all these bricks to kind of just condensed down into this molded tail. I don't know, I just feel like it looks more natural if it's all plate. Over here, we have the saddle area. That's what this brown is, kind of like the strap running down to the underside of the belly and then the main part of the saddle right here that holds the shield generator. As far as the shield generator goes, I think it's a really weird looking piece of equipment, but once again, I'm just trying to be as accurate as I can to the actual shield generator, which looks like this, so as you can see, I got the round clear cockpit area in. I even put on these overlord overload discharge prongs, which I imagine just protect the cockpit from some kind of energy blast or something to do with protecting it from that giant shield that it's generating. And then right here, we've got this part in the back, which launches the shield beam over here. And I think this projects it out. So there's two FAMBAs. I don't have the space on my mock for the two FAMBAs. So I decided just to build the one that is in front. And you guys can kind of imagine that one behind it. As far as the size and scale of the FAMBA, I'm pretty happy with that. Just because there is a Gungan warrior right there. And you can see compared to the FAMBA, he's pretty small. And I'm really happy with that because I feel like these FAMBAs are a very iconic part of this battle just because uh, you just see these giant beasts with these huge gen shield generators on their backs towering over the Gungans, the droids, the droid transports. So I'm really happy that I was able to make a really big monstrous FAMBA because I was worried it would ultimately end up being kind of small. So that's it for this update video, guys. Also, I um, have mostly finished my third droid AAT, so I just got to fix up that, and we're going to be pretty much good to go. So that's it for this episode of Building the Boom. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of large-scale progress done, but believe me, guys, we are on the home stretch. In fact, as of right now, I calculate only about two more updates before the finale, so get hyped because I'm getting hyped. I'm really excited to be done with this mock. Um, I've really loved building it, but I'm excited to move on to new projects and also to really have all of my work on this come together in the final culmination. If you guys like this video, don't forget to leave me a like. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future content. But until next week, happy building.